look nice, too. Yes. Where is Mom? I don't know. Reverend Ricky called, and she ran out here to meet him somewhere. What did he want? I don't have any idea. Maybe church business. <laughs> church business? Yeah. So how is she? Actually, she's still a little bit shaky, and I wish she would take it a little bit easy. Uh, you know, Mom, she's always going a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. And she can put as brave a spin as she wants on it, but being kidnapped is traumatizing. I know what that's like. It takes a little while to get back to yourself. And this is why I love you, because you are so smart. <laughs> maybe it's just me, you know? Maybe I can't accept the fact that she's actually back here and we're together again, back on track. But I gotta tell you, I... I still have this feeling that there's something wrong. Ever have believed those emails and phone calls they forced her to make? You, you are being way too hard on yourself. Don't you think when you love someone the way I love your mother, I mean, don't you think I'm... Shouldn't I have known that there was something not right? What the hell was that? Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen that before. No, me either. <laughs> you don't suppose this thing belongs to Erica? It's not exactly her style. No. No, it sure as hell isn't. Oh, well, good, you're here. Jack will be here any minute. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, we're here? Here for what? I don't understand what's going on. Um, Do you? Uh, you? You didn't tell Bianca about the dinner? There is no dinner. What is this? We're getting married. Right here. Right now. Getting married right now? <laughs> I knew you'd be surprised. Oh. Um. Mom, you, you're a part of this? Surprise! <laughs> oh, I, I hope you didn't think that I was going to share my big day for a double wedding. What the hell? If I had not, I would have... I am just as surprised as you are. If you're not ready... Of we... course. Of course she's ready. Tell him. Tell him you can't wait to be my wife. Oh, it's out of the blue. But I woke up this morning and I thought, you know what, why not? We love each other, right? So why wait? You, me, and the people that you love most in the world. And all you have to do is say, I do. And we'll be husband and wife. Your family's there. Okay, they'll support you. Just tell, tell them you hate surprises. Okay, call it off. I can't do that. Can't do what? I like that, yeah. What's wrong? Isn't this what you want? Tell him you don't. I do. I do want to marry you. But I... But, but, but what? Come on, what's the problem? I said play along. Not play house. Call it off. It's just so sudden. It's so sudden that Uncle Jack isn't even here. Oh, he's been held up at the courthouse, but he'll be here. Then maybe we should wait. No, no. We've waited long enough. What I mean is Kendall and I have been looking forward to this. You want this as much as I do, right? Yes, of course. Of course I do. I just... It, just, it would feel so much better if, if Jack could be here. Oh, Jack won't mind if you go ahead. He'll understand. There's a lavish little reception in it for you. I call the Valley Inn. You're kidding. Nope. Step one is not being afraid to take the leap. Who knows that better than I do? Dudley's could kill you, Kendall. Stall for time. Say, say you want to wait for Jack. I know what to say. Uh, I mean, uh, I know what I want. And I want to marry you. I do. But it just doesn't feel right when Spike and Ian aren't even here. They don't even know. I thought you might feel that way. 
Which is why I told Bianca's nanny to bring the boys over. With Gabby and Miranda, of course. You should have let me know. Well, it was part of the surprise. So you see, when the boys get here, we'll be married. And we can tell Spike and Ian together, as husband and wife. Stop this, Kendall. Stop it now. Hey, Kendall. I thought about everything. Because all I can think about is you. And being your husband. Reverend, I think we're ready. We are gathered here today in the presence of these witnesses to join Ricardo Torres and Kendall Hart Slater. In holy don't do this, Kendall. Okay, I... I know what marriage means to you. Reverend, if you don't mind... I, what your marriage to Zach meant to you. Mouth. Can't be a game. Not for you. You know that, don't you? My life has been, um, kind of a pilgrimage from darkness to light. There are things that I regret, things that I'm not proud of. And at times, I was afraid that that darkness might overwhelm me. But then I found you. And when you look at me, there is no darkness. There are no shadows, just light and joy and the promise of a lifetime full of happiness. You can stop this, Kendall. We can find another way. If only... No, no, no. No ifs, Kendall. Because I vow to spend the rest of my life making you happy. We're soulmates. I know that we'll be together. Forever. Kendall? You may say your vows now. I'm sorry. I... I don't really know what to say. I didn't plan anything. That's okay. Just speak from your heart. I have an idea. Why don't we just wait for Uncle Jack? Your mom said he would be here soon. That way, Kendall has... Time to think about what she really wants to say. Oh, but Kendall, you speak so beautifully. I, I just knew you were going to find the right words to tell Ricky how much you love him. Right. Thank you, Mom. Listen to Bianca. Okay, this is your chance. Take a time out. Is there a problem? There is no problem. Right? If the bride needs more time... We don't then... need more time. It's all planned out, including the honeymoon. The honeymoon? It was going to be a surprise, okay? <sighs> Jack has offered the yacht. We're going on our own private cruise. So there's no problem. Right? Hi, I got, I got Erica's message. What's the big surprise? Surprise! My daughter is marrying the man she loves. Yeah, well, that, that's that's a, a big surprise. Well, great. Everyone's here. Reverend, let's seal the deal. Don't do this, Kendall. I'm ready. I am ready to speak from my heart. Been on a pilgrimage. Well, so have I. And it's led me to you. Don't do this, Kendall. Okay, I'll figure something out. I won't let him hurt you. Trust me. I trust you. Because you've showed me that I can. And now I need you to trust me. I do. Good. Then you'll understand what I'm about to say to you. I love that you... You surprised me like this. I know you went through so much trouble because you love me. But I want, Ricky, the day that I become your wife to be everything that I have dreamed about. You're calling it off. No, I just... I need a little more time. time. Kendall, come on. We've waited long enough. I, I want our wedding day to be a day that we never forget. My gift to you. It will be the party of the century. I mean, until ours. <laughs> I can't. 
can't talk you out of this, can I? You know what? It's a beautiful day, right? You said so yourself. So why don't uh, we take the yacht? It's ready to go. We can go and have a little cruise. Just the two of us. Just me and the man I love. I'm thinking of a theme wedding for you, something really classy. I know Ricky is disappointed, but we're going to make it up to him. You didn't like my surprise. I'm just looking out for my sister. Well, that makes two of us. Well, I have a cruise to pack for. That sounds like our cue to leave. Yes, yes, of course. And I just want you to enjoy every second of... Romance on the high seas. Thanks, Mom. Hey, thank you so much for your help. Oh, my pleasure. And you'll be really glad you waited. I promise. So, what can I do to help? Uh, you can let me pack... And, uh, and meet me on the yacht. Okay, I will have the champagne chilling. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Will you look after Spike and Ian? Of course. Yeah, but, but Kendall, you and Ricky alone on a boat, are you sure about this? Bianca, please, I have to do this. Okay, I have to. I can't let anyone else that I love get hurt. Promise me you'll be careful. I promise. Okay. Prince Ross will be here any minute with the kids. I, uh, will wait outside. Oh, God, please don't do anything crazy. I won't, I won't. Okay. Mm. Let me just find my purse, and then we will go get ice cream, okay? Okay. Okay, be right back. Hey, you. Ah, oh, the wedding's been postponed. What wedding? You're on Kendall and me. You know what? I think that you would make the most perfect flower girl in the world. Would you like that? Yay! Yay, come here. <laughs> oh. Miranda! <sighs> Sorry if she's... Bothering you? No, 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 no bother. I thought you left. I left my cell phone. Probably in the kitchen. Hey, um, sit down for a minute. I know you like him, but uh, for now on, uh, for, for now, I, I want you to just stay away from him, okay? But he's so nice. I know, I know, but, um... Just promise me you will, okay? Okay, Mommy. Okay, and, and don't mention anything to your little sister or to your cousins about a wedding, okay? Okay, let's go. Right there. for you. Kendall. It's weird. Welcome aboard. <laughs> 